Welcome back to Elizabeth Plants, and today we're doing a planty haul. So it's planty and planty things haul. I first want to address the filming space. You are on my cat tree and I'm standing in the middle of my living room. There is a couch between us. Uh, I'm just testing filming spaces in the house. This apartment compared to the last is booty for filming. The lights, while not yellow, are significantly more yellow because there is basically no natural light. Certainly in comparison to the last apartment. Uh, so we're testing spaces. You can tell that I have the ring light on in front of me. It's not helping much, but I have it on the blue light so that maybe it's slightly less red. I don't know. We're gonna test it. You're gonna see a whole bunch of new spaces in the coming videos. None of them are gonna be great. Honestly, the best space is my bedroom, but I don't like wanna bring plants onto my bed. So I don't know yet. I don't know yet. This is where we are today, because I am going to show you some of the plants and plant things that I got Black Friday shopping. Now I put Black Friday in quotations because all of my shopping was done at one place and they actually do what is called a Green Friday. So I did not do my Green Friday shopping online this year. I did my Green Friday shopping in person. So the place that I'm about to show you all the things I got from is called Articulture Designs. It's a botanical design studio in Austin, Texas. And they, if, if I'm able to get some like clips or photos or something of the location to insert here, this place is so cool. There is so much really awesome stuff. While I did not get much of the awesome stuff, I did get awesome stuff. Uh, so they had a really awesome Green Friday sale. And so what Green Friday sale means is you bring in hard to recycle items and it lasts like the Friday after Thanksgiving through Sunday. And those hard to recycle items like styrofoam batteries, light bulbs, paint cans, things like that. Um, I brought styrofoam from my new grow shelf. I had a ton. And then you unlock all of these deals. They had absolutely phenomenal deals. I don't even remember most of them but they like 50% off plants. They had a whole 25, 50 and 75% off like tables just filled with stuff. Um, a lot of like decor stuff. They sell a lot of air plants. I did get an air plant from them, but not during their, their sale and I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you anyways, but there's so much stuff and it's just kind of all around my house. So I'm going to be running and grabbing stuff, but I brought all, most of the plants here with me, um, they're down here on the the poof and side table to my, my couch. Um, so let's talk about them. So I got a big allocation. I'm not going to bring that to show you, but I will show it to you when I show you something else later. Um, so I got a big um, low rider allocation. I don't know if it has a technical name, but I know it as the low rider. It's a little like uh, the leaves are a little beat up. A lot of that is from me, like moving it and stuff and running into it. Um, it was a little bit beat up, but it was super hidden where I found it at the shop. Honestly, had I not already gone over my budget, I would have got so much more than I did. But we've also got some small things. So I've got this guy who had a little name tag. I don't remember how much this guy was. He was 50% off, um, but I got this guy. Some sort of variegated cactus. I believe I have one and mine looks way different. So I don't know if they're the same species, if they're related, I'm not 100% sure. He's got some flowering bits at the top. I don't know if the camera will show you, but those little pink dots there, he was prepping to flower. So I got this and he's in a six inch. Next I got this guy. There was a tag uh, like on the table. Uh, I didn't take mental note of what he was, but the, all of these like cacti succulents that I got, I'm thinking if I'll, um, in whatever corner it is, I will insert a card, but I made a cacti garden a long time ago and I still have it and I've added some cacti to it since. 
However, I'm thinking about making a matching succulent garden uh, that'll probably also have a little bit of cacti in it. But on the other side, kind of articulture slash my cacti garden inspired, um, because of where I have the cacti garden on my patio, I think it would be nice to have, you know, something on either side of the entrance. So that's kind of my thought in getting these. But anyways, I got this guy. He's super cool. Um, he was a separate price than what the rest of the plants on the table were. And I can't remember if he was $12.50 or $2.50, but either way, he was 50% off. And then I have a ton of succulents, so I really didn't need to get a ton, but I wanted to get some more unique ones. So I got this guy. And look, he's got a flower on top, if you can see that. I just thought this was so weird. It looks like a whole bunch of little square beads were just stacked. I think that's so cool. Not sure what he is. Again, there was a tag on the table, but I didn't make any mental or literal note. Uh, so he's really cool. I'll get the name of all these things and I'll put them up on the screen. And then this one I didn't get on Green Friday, but I got a, a different day. And this is a fire stick. It was more red when I got him. Again, he doesn't get as much light here, but I've, um, potted him up and then when I potted him up he's a little bit top heavy so I gave him a little stick but this is him he will not be going in my second leaf garden he'll probably just stay in his little red pot um, and out on the patio but I really like him I think he's awesome all right so this is the air plant that I got this is a zero graphica he is huge I did not get him on green Friday I got him another day um, but he's huge. He was $35. Um, he's phenomenal. So cool. So, so, so cool. But I am going to do a project with him at some point. I may put this project off until maybe spring or late winter because it'll be for my patio. The next thing I got, I will not be bringing to this space because they're large. So I'm just going to insert photos right here. Um, but essentially, here is my lowrider, and it is in this wire basket thing. Uh, it's got the blanket on it to keep Raja from digging in it, but I kind of like the way it looks, honestly. Uh, however, I got the lowrider into this basket, and my thought is to get a large terracotta pot to faux plant the lowrider into, because it doesn't need a bigger pot, um, but to faux plant the lowrider into. And then I might even keep the blanket around the top, I might, you know, do stones or leka or something, but I kind of like the blanket, so I don't know. Um, but he's going to stay here to this side of the bed. Then if we swap over to the other side of the bed, I got a second basket. Again, it's like a wire basket. Right now I've got just some art pieces in it that will eventually be put up on the walls. Um, however, I haven't gotten around to that. Um, so right now it stores these, but eventually I'm probably going to put some kind of low light plant in it. Um, I might keep it as like a decor storage, but I really want to put a plant in it. So I will probably do that. But I got both of these baskets together for Green Friday and the Lowrider. Then if I pluck from outside of that second basket, I got these two posters. And I really like these two posters. They were offering three different posters, I think. Um, but these two are the ones that I wanted the most. Um, but essentially, and it's gonna be hard to show you because they're all rolled up. But we've got this like houseplant poster and it's like an off-white so it looks kind of aged. This will be put in a poster frame and it's uh, used to decorate my bedroom eventually. Then I got this second one which is Tillandsia, so air plants. <sighs> like I said, you're on my cat tree so of course the cat has decided to play on the tree now. So I'm sorry if the camera's a little shaky. We've got... This guy, which has all sorts of, okay, you can't play with the cord. Um, again, it's going to be used to decorate in the bedroom, just like the houseplant one. And then there was a third one, which I haven't decided if I'm gonna go back and get, they weren't super expensive. It was like a um, national park one, and it wasn't just like specific to Texas, I do not believe. I don't believe, I didn't spend a ton of time looking at that one, but I wanted these two with the plants because I like have a spot for two. Not a third, but I might go back and get the third because I do really like it. I don't know, but I got these. The next few things all really 
like go together or at least I bought them to go together. However, I'm gonna show you them one at a time because I have butter fingers sometimes. Um, but I got these like uh, porcelain ceramic cacti. So this one is the most different from the group because it is gold and it does like it's not a planter. It's just for decoration. This one is gold. It's also the largest one. Uh, this one will be on a separate shelf. But when I got them, I was originally going to put them all together, um, except for I found a spot where this one looks really good by itself. So I will insert a picture of where it sits because I just think it looks good. But I got this guy and he was on one of the sale tables. I have not found a home for these next three yet. I was thinking perhaps down here when, I have, when I'm able to move some of these plants out of here. I thought about it in the kitchen, but I don't really want more clutter in the kitchen. So I'm not entirely sure yet where I'm going to put them, but here is the next largest. It's a cacti vase. It's got a hole where you can put something like a faux flower or real flowers, or maybe like an air plant or something. Um, on top of it, I thought this guy was really cool. And then to match, I got these smaller ones. So this is basically the exact same cacti, hole in the top, uh, just smaller, like half, half the size or less. And then this guy, which is a different type of cactus, same, similar size though, as the other small one. Again, hole in the top for something. Um, and I really want to kind of, if I can risk it, put these up somewhere kind of like this or something um, with air plants or flowers or something in them. So really excited about that. I'm not going to show it to you, but I did get some moss and some soil from them. Uh, they carry the soil that I use. So in the past I've gotten soil from them. And then I also, they do like dollar bags of soil. Um, that's just kind of like a mixture of stuff left over that they've, you know, used in potting. So I grabbed a little bit of that and um, some moss. It's like a lighty green color moss. That's for a project later. Uh, that I haven't even fully sorted out yet. So you'll see that when you see that. And then I got some pots. So the pots that I got, um, they're two of the exact same, so I'm only going to show you one of them. I feel like it's not necessary to bring both out here. However, they were significantly marked down because they were broken and glued back together. Um, I knew this, like I intentionally picked these for that reason because I don't care and it made them significantly cheaper. So I'm going to show you them. So this one is the least broken of the two. It's just got a crack that didn't, they, like I didn't even have them glue back together. It's just got a crack. I might add some glue at some point, um, but because it was cracked, I got it, I believe 75% off. So this is this guy. I don't know if because my lighting's so weird, it's going to pick up on the colors, but I think he's really nice. There's no drainage hole, what'll probably happen. Um, especially because it's cracked as I'm just faux potting into these guys. Um, but the colors are like, this is gray. I think on the camera it looks almost green, but it's gray. And then this is more like a brown gray. Um, and then the light color is, I don't know, like a tan, like a speckled tan. I hope that focused on it, but I got two of these. So I've actually got one right here. And then this one, because it's the least broken one, is the one that I grabbed. It's uh, sitting in the bedroom. And I should throw in the note here that this video is not sponsored by Articulture Designs. I'm just a huge fan uh, of Articulture Designs. I love what they do and what they offer. And this was just a phenomenal sale. So of course I spent way too much money, way too much money. Uh on some really cool plants. So I wanted to show them because I got a lot. And so I thought maybe you guys would like this haul. Uh, so I will link them in the description down below if you're ever in the south-ish Austin area and you want to check them out, I highly recommend. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what uh, that I got is your favorite. What is something that inspired you or you wish you had? or maybe you didn't even like, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe to see more houseplant content and I will see you next time.